How's it going, everybody? It's your man, Mr. Homebrew. Now, I wanted to speak to everybody in regards to PFBA. Now, a lot of people have been having trouble getting this working. I've had a lot of requests in regards to getting it working. I'm going to include two versions. One version is the latest. The in-game menu does not seem to be working for me. You're supposed to push plus and minus, and it brings up the in-game menu. And it doesn't seem to be doing that for me right now. So I'm going to include a download link to the version also that does have the working in-game menu. This way you can launch into it and make save states, load and save your save states, whatever you want to do kind of thing. So as you can see, everything is working for me. A whole collection of games. I'm going to set this up real quickly for Sega Mega Drive. And I'm going to launch a game from here. I'm going to probably launch up a Sonic game real quick. Just to show this is working. Um, go up a little bit further. Here we go. See how this launches. This audio does work. But as you can see with this version, the in-game menu is not being activated. So I'm not going to bother with that. But the game is running nicely. No problems in that regards. The frame rate is up there. No problems. Now most things do work. You're going to have to get your ROM sets and associate them properly. I'm going to show you that in a second. So you're going to power down your Nintendo Switch. Turn off. Now once your Nintendo Switch is off, you're going to remove your micro SD card. Be sure to like, subscribe, share, and all that good stuff. Hit that notification icon for all the latest. And for them live streams, I'm going to take my micro SD card, my little dongle, insert it into my computer. Now, what you're going to want to do I'm going to include in the description two links, one to the working in-game menu and one to the latest version without the working in-game menu. It's your choice, whatever one you want to work. You're going to end up with uh, your pfba.zip file. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to go into your micro SD card that you use on your Nintendo Switch. You plugged it into your computer. You're going to go into that and then you're going to go into the switch folder now within that switch folder you're going to drag and drop your pfba folder with all those files and you're going to drop it i already have mine there so i'm not going to drop mine in now within that pfba folder there are some things you're going to want to be aware of now there is the roms folder that's where you're going to place all your, when you go into your ROM, so let me look real quick. All my arcade games go into my ROMs folder. So I would copy all these arcade games, all these .rar files, and I drag them all into that ROMs folder within the PFBA folder. Now, for all the console games, for the console sets, um... That would also include um, Sega Mega Drive, Game Gear, all that good stuff you can see right here. You would copy all of those just in the PFBA folder. Not in the ROMs folder, just in the PFBA folder. Now once you would do that, you would be good to go. You would allow the files to transfer and you'd have no problems. I'm not feeling to do that right now because I already got all my ROMs transferred over. So there's no point in that. Now once you get that done. Remember. So your arcade, arcade set. All your arcade games. They go into your ROMs folder within the PFBA folder. That PFBA folder is going to be located within the Switch folder. Now all your console games. Like Mega Drive, Game Gear and everything like that. 
are just going to go in the PFBA folder itself. They don't have to be renamed with the abbreviation and everything anymore. That's all been sorted out. Now, you do that. Everything's associated where I just showed you. You eject your micro SD card properly within Windows. You don't plug it. Take it and put it into my Nintendo Switch. You're going to put your Switch in RCM mode. For me, I already have my jig kind of implemented with the system itself. So I just hold that volume up. And then that power button for about three seconds. This is the jig I'm talking about. To get into RCM, you would normally slide it into the slot and short out those pins to get into RCM. Now that I'm in RCM mode. I'm going to plug my Nintendo Switch into my computer. I'm going to launch Tigra RCM. My payload needs to be specified. So I'm going to specify that Hike payload. I'm going to inject my payload. My Nintendo Switch should boot up. Mr. Leonidas right there. Give it just a moment. Our latest tutorial for homebrew it will auto launch if you do have that initiated within your settings. Now I'm going to go into my photos or my album. Sorry, PFBA let that baby load up all those ROMs. It might take a little longer if it's the first time you're loading them all up. Everything will show up now. I have Neo Geo games too. Some of those do require a BIOS to be in the ROMs folder if I'm not mistaken. Just to show some of those are working real quickly. Or that one of those. Should jump into one real quickly and see what we got here. Any good games to start up? I'm sure there's something. Let's see what we got here. Uh, if I don't find anything quick enough, I'm just going to pick a game. Um, hmm. Doesn't really matter to me. Ninja Commando? Sure. Let's see if it boots up. Bang. So I hope this helps you. As you can see, it is working. No problem in that regards. It's your choice on if you want the version that has the in-game menu working. I would prefer it, so I'm probably going to downgrade to the version with the in-game menu working. This way I can utilize my save states, which are very important. We need to be able to progress in all the games we're playing. See another game loading up real quickly. Bang, just like that. So, remember, follow this tutorial. Should help you, should get you working. Fairly easy, sleep mode's working. Turn that baby off and on. Back in and it's still running, just to show that again. Sleep mode. That baby's good to go. Insert some coins with select if you need to. You seen it here? It's your man Leonidas, aka Mr. Homebrew. More good videos and tutorials on the way for everybody. Now I hope you enjoy. I may do some gameplay videos coming up real soon. Just sit back, answer some questions for everybody, do a little Q&A. I think that could be very useful. Sometimes I'm better off answering those questions live for everybody. Can get a little bit more information across to all of you. Now, I'm going to head out in just a brief moment. I'm going to enjoy my night. I hope you guys enjoy yours. Stay safe and all that good stuff. Have fun with everything I've shown you. All the best. Peace.